I'll show you how to hardwire your radar detector for your CBR 600 F4I. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to pull the seat. You just pull the corners back and there's a 10 millimeter bolt on this corner and another one on this corner. Pull that out, pull it back and that will give you access to the battery. Uh, you run power from back here. You don't have to take the tank up. I'm actually doing a tune-up on this one, so that's why that's the way it is. But just follow this wire harness along the left side of the bike. String your wire up along with this, um, and then just string it up through here. You can use coat hangers or whatever. You do need to pull this, uh, uh, this little shroud that's over this side. To pull the shroud, you pull the screw out of here. You pull another one out here and uh, just undo the little tab. You can see the little nub that's here. I usually use a screwdriver. I'll put it in here and pry it back. That'll pop it off and then you just pull them backwards because they are hooked into a little spot under here. So you pull that out of the way. You run your power up to here. I like the Passport 8500. It seems to work the best. And uh, so there's my power cord for that. Um, one of the things also, if you don't like wiring it this way, you can pull the cover off here and tap into the power. For, I tap into the power for my left hand turn signal. Um, when you do that, basically what happens is every time I turn the turn signal left or cancel, it makes it go out. And why do you want your radar detector to go out when you're signaling left or when you cancel? The reason why I like to do it is it's a confirmation because every time this thing powers up it goes beep and I've got my headphones, uh, I use a headphone jack and a Y that's a, a $7 Y from Radio Shack and that way I have my iPod and my radar detector in one ear. So as far as the mount goes, I just bought an additional mount online for my Passport. I just stick that on like this and I had to hollow out a little spot for the wiring, uh, no big deal, and then I bolted it on. I used a little rubber block bushing, it was just a spare part from uh, another apparatus I had. You can use any little chunk of rubber. What that does is it spaces it out so that the radar detector gets a good clear shot forward. I mounted it in this position because I pulled into a parking lot and I had the radar detector going, uh, had everything powered up and whatnot first. And I tried it on different spots of the bike. I tried, you know, in between, I tried in the ram air, I tried over the top, I tried all different positions, and I aimed it from the bike at the the automatic opening door, that, which was X-band. And then I backed up, and then I backed up some more, and then I backed up some more. And the best, most sensitive place on the bike was to put it here and to mount it sideways. If I did it flat, it didn't pick up as well. If I did it this way, it picked up really, really well. So that's why the reason why I mounted it where I did. And this is how I accomplished that. Is I just have the mount. This is from above what it looks like. And I just have a couple of bolts and a couple of nuts. It just holds it in place like that. You can see there's a lot of room for the nuts on the inside. Now, the other reason why I liked here is that mine picks up on laser also. And you're like, well, if it's laser, as soon as they get you, you're done. That would be true if you didn't use Veil, V-E-I-L, and that stuff works. I've been pulled over just for that. I wasn't even speeding and they pulled me over because they couldn't shoot my headlights. It wouldn't give any response or any signal. Now, if they're aiming the laser at your headlights and they're aiming here and aiming here, they're going to shoot your detector. And the thing with the Veil is instead of getting you at like half a mile or quarter mile out, they shoot around here and they can't get it until you're within like, you know, maybe 50 or 100 feet of them. And so it makes them really frustrated. They really hate that. Because I won't get into why, but anyway, it's legal. You can do it. It's not a laser jammer, but that's the way you get by. And that's why I mount that where I do. So anyway, it's a space. It's the same. I have awesome brakes. I mean, look at this thing. I've got disc brakes on this side, I've got disc brakes on this side, I have awesome tires, great tread, I use good quality uh, name brand tires. The bike performs really well, I mean it stops great, it turns great, you know it's a great machine, it's built for speed. The speed limit's the same whether you're in an 18 wheeler and you're hauling seven cars on the trailer behind you or if you're a light agile bullet bike. I can stop way faster than an 18-wheeler, 
but the speed limit's the same whether I'm on this bike or I'm driving an 18 wheeler, it doesn't matter. Why should, it's just madness. And cops, they like to pull over bullet bikes because they assume that you're gonna speed all the time and you know, like any good hall monitor in any elementary school, they want to feel their authority. So rather than to put up with the insurance hikes and all the other crap, I like to avoid the confrontation. I drive at a good safe speed because my life <laughs> depends on it. You can't get in a wreck on a bullet bike and expect to live, you know, you know, if you're at a high rate of speed, you know, people call them donor cycles, you know, that you're going to donate your organs because you're going to die from riding one. Yeah, I've been riding for years and years and years, and, you know, I just like to continue to be able to ride. I don't want to lose my driver's license because some over-glorified hall monitor of a traffic enforcement officer, bless their hearts. There are good cops out there that prevent crime and help keep things safe, and I've experienced more than my fair share of cops that are just freaking hall monitors. I mean, they just want to just write tickets to meet quotas or whatever the case may be. And I don't want to mess with that. That's why you, I use the veil. That's why I use the radar detector is because the price that I pay for that veils like a hundred bucks. The radar detector is a couple hundred bucks online. You do that and then you can enjoy your ride. And then you know, listen to me this part. I was ranting the rest of the time, but seriously, if you're paying attention to riding and watching for cars and threats and gravel and all the other threats, deer, that you have to be watching for, then you're not always going, what's my speed? What's my speed? Where's the cops? What's my speed? That's not safe. If you use a radar detector, it lets you know where the cops are. You don't have to worry about your speed. You go a good safe speed, whatever you're comfortable with, and you just look for threats and danger. It's safer, in my opinion, for me, if I use a radar detector and veil, and that way I don't have to mess with the tickets, I don't have to be watching my speedometer every two seconds, and I get where I want to be safely. And that's what I want for you, that's why I'm posting the video. So, best of luck to you, love you, safe riding.